So you're using QuickTime to record your tutorials. Mm -hmm. um, can you just go through um, a recording of your tutorial and then we'll, I'll show you how to edit and add music and titles? Sure, yeah. So currently I've got it turned on. So I'd normally prep myself, get it ready and then start. So I'll make a start. Hi everyone, today we're going to look at uh, how to make a lace trim. Now this lace trim you might want to put on say a camisole top, um, a little slip dress. Um, so quite often you'll find in uh, apparel and intimates, there'll be a little lace trim. Now to draw this from scratch, this example here, is gonna be quite time consuming, quite complex. Um, so my suggestion is if you find an image on the internet, now you can see these are actually drawings of lace. If you type lace trim, you're going to get a photo of lace trim you want a drawn lace trim. So what you're gonna to have to do is type in vector, V-E-C-T-O-R, lace trim, and you'll find these images. Now, depending where you source them, you will need to reference them um, and acknowledge where you source them in your work, um, but these are the better ones to use. Now, I've got an example of here of what not to use, this gray one. The reason I'm saying don't use this is you can see it's quite blurry and it's gray against white. So the technique we're going to do is image trace, make and expand. Now you need a strong contrast. This image here is much better. You can see it's clear, uh, the black against the white, you've got really sharp lines, so we're going to use that one. So to start with our trim, I want the bottom one. So if I click on my image, you can see it's a full image. So what we need to do is image trace. Now there's a few different ways you can do it. We can go object, image trace, make and expand. And what that will do is the program recognises the difference between the black and the white. The other place you can see it is generally at the top, so we're going to do command Z. Now the new versions, the bar is missing, but if you go into window, workspace, automation, you'll see when you highlight a black and white image, image trace will come up for you. So again, I'm going to do image trace. And you'll find an expand button should come up, expand. So that's the two different places you can find it. Now I only want to use this bottom trim. So what I'm going to do is click on the white and delete. Now the rest of this white is going to be very irritating to go through. You're not going to go through and do each one individually. So what you can do is click on one and then go to select, same, fill colour. That will pick up all the white. Be careful if you've got other drawings that are white because it's going to get rid of that as well. I'm going to hit delete and I don't need these two top ones so I can hit delete leaving me just with that lace trim. Now what I want to do is put this into brushes. You can drag it in as black but I suggest to you all to make it a colour because changing one colour from one to another is much easier than making black into a colour. So I'm going to make this red and depending if you're on a Mac or PC it might go grey. Can you all see how that's gone grey? Because the original image was black and white the computer is assuming you want to work in grayscale but we don't. So what I'm going to do is go to window and colour and you just have to tell the computer Thank you, but I don't want grey tone. I want it in colour, so RGB, and that will bring it back to colour. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, I'll drag this now onto the white area. I used the grey before so you could see it, uh, the white image against the grey. We don't need that now. But here's my trim. Look, depending on the version you've got, your older versions, you may need to cut this and shorten it. I can show that in a more advanced tutorial, but I'm going to leave it as is and go to brushes, window, brushes. And all I'm going to do is take that, drag in, so, and then release. And we want a pattern brush. Okay. Now with lace trim, you're not going to be able to sew it into a corner unless it's couture. We're just doing mass apparel. So don't worry about your beginning, your end or your corners, but you do need to worry about your colour. If you leave it as none, this lace will always stay red. But if you say you want it pink, purple, 
you don't want to do the whole process again. So what we're going to do is go to Method, Colorization, and change it to Hue Shift. And OK. You'll find in your brushes, it will pop up. So you can see this is the one I got ready, and this is the one I just popped in. So I'm going to draw a line. I like to use a curve line, because I like to check how it's going to look on a curve. We'll make that from a fill to a stroke, and click on our brush, and there's our lovely lace trim. Now, if you wanted it a bit smaller, you could scale this original first, or if you go to stroke, you can actually, on your stroke weight, make it narrow. So let's do a little zoom in. So I've got a thinner, smaller, more delicate lace trim, and I'm going to change it to, there's a purple pink, and so this technique's good if you haven't established your colours or you're thinking a certain colour's going to look good and then you see it and you go, oh no, that's not quite right. And that's it. That's our little tutorial on how to do a lace trim. Speak to you soon. Great. Thanks for recording that that's tutorial. Right. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just stop recording sure. your screen recording and just save that video on the desktop. Mm -hmm.